good morning everyone nice to see you all early in the morning uh you know uh it is as usual uh, monday is my favorite day to do um uh, morning club meet due to certain circumstances i used to skip from monday to some wednesday sometime to thursday but i am very glad that back to monday the the very first day of the week so and the beginning itself i can see around 410 participants for precisely 409 participants that also is very 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 encouraging so now the number is back to 410 yeah so that way so welcome to all the big level students of business to the morning club meet so make sure every day the you show the same amount of energy and enthusiasm for the participation we promise you we will make you feel right at home right so now today uh, last time we had uh, the discussion about moonlighting right uh, yes uh, now the sunlight would have come it's already uh, <laughs> six crossed so how was your moonlighting experience last week how many of you use the hashtag of moonlighting how many of you approach your friends um i means use moonlighting as a prospecting tool last week yeah wow wonderful wonderful oh it is it is really 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 astonishing wonderful almost everyone great all right so now Uh, let me ask you um sometimes uh you know uh, this is one question people used to keep in mind or um doing business fast is easy or doing business slow is easy it's not again a one more quiz competition it is just part of you know <laughs> the topic that's why uh thank you mr harun ji harun ji is saying fast is easy mr sharat kuchin also saying fast is easy but do you truly believe doing fast is easy because usually we do slow anything slow because we believe doing slow is easy for example driving a car fast is easy slow is easy that is a point so doing business my question is what is right or not what is easy driving a car slowly is easy fast is easy the same way if you put it across doing business fast is easy or slow is easy all right i don't want to trouble you with this question see we all know that you know uh, everybody is saying fast is easy um depends on the situation all right all right okay okay um i appreciate that attitude uh, but uh, you know something uh, when you read easy in what context that's the point when you are reading a newspaper i repeat when you are reading a newspaper if you read slow your mind will get diverted and you will not be able to finish reading the newspaper but if you read fast you will be able to uh, stay focused and you will be able to capture it fully i really wanted to buy a fast moving bike you know uh, uh, it's like uh, some hayabusa or suzuki or something of that kind uh, i had a plan to buy Uh, then okay conventionally thinking okay spending lot of money some 12 15 lakh rupee for a bike nobody can easily digest but i got a different resistance uh, the resistance was this abilash you were you are not a focused guy your mind is always distracted if you sit on a fast bike you are a confirmed accident candidate so this was the rejection or the resistance i got then i try to convince them because uh, many of my friends who are riding a fast bike 
and they say is abilash when you are sitting on a fast moving bike which will g- easily give you a speed of 150 180 then naturally you will be more focused it is not you will be lazy you will be naturally very focused abilash because uh, you you are playing with your life then everybody will become serious naturally you will be very focused and that quality you will be able to bring it back to your business or home uh, no i am not going to buy shafiq sir because i wanted to buy but with a lot of resistance uh, uh, then how can you buy so i have dropped the plan but actually it helps so uh doing business fast will actually help you to stay more focused in your business so that way it is easy to make more money that much i know is easy to make more money doing it is like for example now i am talking to you when i am talking to you i am i am actually giving my complete attention to all the people sitting uh, in front of my screen my eyes my ears um, i would say my, everything i am trying to put on you guys now i'm i'm deeply focused now so uh, it's like when you do things fast you will be able to focus to the core and that will give you fantastic results see uh, many people um, uh, you know uh, see if it is a business business will always have ups and downs when the business will have ups and downs you know one skill one skill it is very important to keep you alive in business is i would say your recruitment skill so when i say about the recruitment skill you know something uh, when your business for example at one stage your business is stuck what will you do immediate answer is go and recruit 10 new people your business is back the moment you feel your business is stuck the moment you feel your business is stuck you are unable to move you are not getting enough energy from your organization the immediate remedy is go and recruit a new people oh so that way the recruitment skill is something which you need to practice so vehemently from the beginning itself you know why there is something called the team momentum and something called the personal momentum so beginning there won't be team momentum when you are running 10 km speed please don't expect anyone to run along with you in 10 km or even 9 km speed if you are speed expecting somebody in your organization to run on 11 km speed let me tell you it is ridiculous so people will be running maybe with 2 km speed so your personal momentum is so so important so critical when i say your personal momentum then that is nothing but recruiting people so in the beginning you if you are not able to recruit people two or three or four or five or six or 10 then yes you cannot expect personal momentum so your personal momentum is more important to create a momentum for the organization personal momentum is critical for team momentum personal momentum is possible only by recruiting people number one and helping them to progress because if you are recruiting people and if you fail to make them progress again it will backfire so personal momentum is possible through recruiting skill primarily number 2 and helping them to perform helping them to perform means there is nothing but helping them to become a star how to help them to become a star helping them to 12 helping them to sell 12 products so that way you can make them star so that way the business incubator program of the company is perfectly suiting for anyone to any beginner or anyone feel you lack energy in your organization for a beginner business incubator system is very good because you recruit people number one and you help them to achieve star rank through retail digitally within no time so here uh, we need to understand one point simply recruiting people won't help you please understand make them to perform if they are also further recruiting no it will again backfire because 
as i rightly said last time you are create you are here to create an asset i repeat you are here to create an asset and you want profit from that asset you are not here to create profit directly you are here to create profit indirectly directly you are here to create an asset we want that asset to produce profit so uh, your net worth is your network in our terms if we put it our net worth is our net worth our network is our net worth which network quality network if that network is an asset then only it's a net worth worth means asset uh, so for that personal momentum is so critical so i request everybody actively participate actively participate um in the business incubator program actively participate no excuses my dear friends this week this week you must you must sponsor couple of people to ensure they will uh, to make them qualify in the business incubator program when you do business incubator program please do please do business legally when i say legally ethically it is important to convert your network to your net worth otherwise it will not so artificially if you make three people to put 100 pv orders each three fake customers you for example you are recruiting a new person and making that new person to create uh, uh, three uh, fake customers and uh, in that three I mean, i mean three relatives name he is putting 300 pv orders 100 pv into 3 this is actually you are faking it by doing it actually you are cutting the golden who to get the um, x uh, golden x so basically just to get 1000 to 2000 rupees please don't defeat that wonderful concept uh, my point is minimum six customers he has to meet minimum six customers in the process of meeting six customers he may be selling 13 products or 14 products Uh, what's wrong in that it is not to make the 2000 rupee dear friends please don't spoil your glow your glorious future in the name of just 2000 rupees just 2000 rupee or 1000 rupee so please always i will tell you some people will definitely do it because in our society uh, see for example banking is well regulated very well regulated is banking Uh, who is controlling banking this is bank of india still people are doing fake things that is why rana kapoor uh, went to jail the founder ceo of his bank went to jail so whatever regulator is there whatever is there people will there are certain amount of people they will do things illegally unethically we you and me should not fall into that category we should try to do things in the right way that only will help you in long way you can um uh, by you 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 can cheat uh, the company or you can get, cheat even the government but you but you cannot cheat your own net worth uh, for example when you are making your new downline to do this three fake customers and put 100 pv ka three orders you are teaching him how to do this business in a fake manner that is the beginning and he will master in faking things he will master in uh, you know jumping rules uh, finally uh, at one stage you will not be able to even hold him he will make mistakes after mistakes and finally everything will get screwed up so please don't do that right customers keep that in mind so uh the point even if illegal mindset people are coming you should tell no this is not right not uh, this will not help you in the long run see uh, let me tell you um here why we are doing this business please don't forget that important point we are doing this business in order to get residual income or passive income right otherwise why we have to do network marketing business see network marketing business please understand it is not an alternative for a job the characteristics of a job and entrepreneurship are different this is not an alternative for your job this is not an alternative for your salary as well. this is not a replacement for your salary this is not a replacement for your job 
because this is not a job this is an entrepreneur uh, this is an entrepreneurship so in entrepreneurship it is like uh, you get only what income um, once you build an asset from the asset to the income will come job you go directly mandan you will get the salary self employment every day you will be getting the income against your efforts this is not giving you income against your efforts this is giving you income you are creating an asset that asset is giving you an income so please don't forget that so residual income and passive income only possible only and only is possible if you build an asset if you build an asset for that you have to build the people in the right way so when uh, when you are approaching people so uh, for business incubator program please don't forget that um, you know uh, see uh, please don't get confused when you are approaching people you have to approach people with the opportunity why people used to be confused so should i approach a person new person with a product or opportunity i would say answer is you should approach a person with opportunity only why if he don't like the opportunity also still you can talk about the product but if you are approaching a person with a product if you don't like the product then you cannot push the opportunity anymore because how can you build a business with a product which i don't like so always we should talk about the opportunity first then how do i retail products answer is simple see when we are retailing products when we are retailing products we should always try to retail products in an hot circle in a hot circle when we are selling a product in a hot circle or cold circle we can sell products in hot circle or cold circle when you are selling a product in a hot circle how do you sell a product simple you don't need to speak much about it just by showing some testimonies you can sell the product your uncle auntie relatives close friend if somebody is not in a hot circle you have to make them to hot circle somebody is only in a warm circle take them to hot circle how in warm circle you can push the product that is push the opportunity cold circle of course you can sell the product only hot cold product warm opportunity there are three circles we have one is hot circle second is warm circle third is cold circle in cold circle you cannot push the opportunity you have to make it warm then present the opportunity or cold circle directly you can sell the product in hot circle directly you can sell the product uncle auntie buy this you buying this is important for me that should be the tone there so in warm circle in warm circle after presenting the opportunity if somebody is rejecting you you have to do the follow up how do you do the follow up take your apply with your apply you go and have a meeting first he is listening you through you that may not be sufficient for him that's the reason he may say no to you or he may he, uh, not giving you a, a what do you call a confirmed reply so when you are applying with more experience more achievement when he is talking then it will create better impact in there also if it is not stopping what is next take him to a we gather take him to a we gather in we gather there are some 10 15 people are sitting somebody is presenting the plan live and closing is coming digitally by a super bigger achiever so that will give little more impact so there is something called one two three closing how do we do this carpenters are doing tuck then tuck tuck that is the way the carpenters used to do right the chisel and the hammer tuck 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 the first tuck is your tuck that is what 
you also should make an effort to close the sale. After that, two more tacts. That is, one is we gather. Second is, uh, second, second is follow up with an apply. Third is we gather. So we can expect the closing. So here, one important point we need to keep in mind. Again, I am coming back to you. There is nothing called sales closing in industry web business. There is nothing called sales closing in industry web business. It is an opening here, not a closing. It is not an opening. It is closing. Do the continuous follow-ups. Follow-up should be a part of our habit culture. By sometimes without talking about the business also, we can continue the follow-up by building a good rapport and good relationship and maintaining it. Giving him a call for his birthday and wishing. Giving a call for his festival. All those things. So, never do closing. Always keep it open. And continue the follow-up. So, the point is, uh, the, the point is here, one important point is, uh, we have to, we have to, through an effective um, follow-up and effective prospecting, pro, uh, through prospecting, we can convert a person from cold to warm. Through prospecting, we can convert a person from cold to warm. So when we are doing the prospecting, so by effective communication, we will be able to find out a lot of compelling reasons in that person's life. I have seen, I have seen people are borrowing money are borrowing money or running behind pillar to post to arrange some money for some emergencies at home. That emergencies have not come suddenly. Everybody will have an emergency. Once your children turn plus two, after that for graduation, a lot of money is needed. That is the way insurance people are selling policies, right? At the time of their higher education, they will be getting the maturity amount of this much. At the time of their marriage, this much money will come with this money and you can do perform their marriage. That is the way insurance people are selling their policies, right? Then why can't we have that approach? It is a reality. Now your child is 10 years old. Another 8 years, she will become 18 years old. By that time, you will have the requirement of a lot of money. After that, another 5 to 7 years down the line, she will become 25. At that time, you have to perform her marriage. These all are going to happen. You need money at that point of time. Insurance money means either you have to die or you have to pay almost all money. Insurance is for not for investment. Insurance is for protection. So that way it is not a worth proposition. So do this business. These all are compelling reasons for people to act upon. So we have to identify that and we have to ignite it. So uh, basically what I understand what I understand is people with the written dreams used to achieve that how many of us have written dreams a short term dream and a long term dream a short short term dream and a long term dream a short term dream can be many one after another once you achieve the first one then go to the second one then go to the third one that is the way the short term dreams used to go then comes the long-term dream. Long-term dream only one. For each and every one, I know that the long-term dream is nothing but changing the quadrant. That is our long-term dream. So we need to have short-term dreams and long-term dreams that to the written dreams. Without those written dreams, how we are going to achieve it? So and the, my point is, it is we once we have those clear dreams once we have made up our mind in such a way that then uh, we are deep into it then what will happen is what will happen is even big challenges in business also will appear to small for us for many people even small challenges also appears to be big the simple reason is they have another option in their life even if you have another option in life but Train your mind in such a way that this business is your only option. If you have another option, you are not going to perform in this business. 
I am just telling you, it is like um, if you have another income source, then undoubtedly it is kind of your uh, uh, you have an option in life. Once you have an option in life, naturally your performance will be compromised. Seriously, I am telling you. So then you think, oh, should I quit my job and do business full time? No, it is a call which you need to take at the later point of time. Not now. But let me tell you, this is not an alternative for your job. This is not an alternative for your salary. So that way, for your entrepreneurial life, uh, you need to keep in mind that this is the only opportunity, the only option you have in life to become a rich guy in life. So whenever there, for many people used to fail, many, many quality people used to fail in business because they have income from their job, they have income from their rentals or from the support from the parents. So a small resistance appears to be a big thing for them. They used to leave the business. But one reason I thank for my success is I never had any other income source. Even today, from the beginning of my career till date, the only income source is this. So I cannot play with this. If I don't get income from the business, then my three square meals will become a question mark. Keeping that kind of, if you keep that kind of situation, that will happen is there is something called uh, RAS, reticular activation system. This is something called RAS. I'm just taking another one more minute to establish this point. This reticular activation system, reticular activation system will act like a roadmap. Most of the time in business, we used to feel we are lost. We are lost in the crowd. We can see so many people, but nobody is there to enroll with us. We can see so much of negative situations. We couldn't find any positivity anywhere. But if you are a person left with no choice, then your reticular activation system will get activated. RIS will get activated. You will not look left or right. You will look straight. You will be able to see like this RIS will guide you like a navigator. You will be able to find the right people from the crowd. You will be able to pick up the right people so easily. And you will be able to find a lot of positivity, even though the situation appears negative for others. So once no backup will put you in a wonderful footage of excellent performance because of this RAS. So I clearly established this point, I believe. Once you have your written dreams connected with, connected with, that is very important point, that written dreams connected with certain emotional aspects of life. One boy told me, my dad had a lot of debts. So finally we had to sell that house and leave our hometown. Buying a home, back in hometown and taking parents back to there is a dream connected emotionally. It will have much, much more power and impact, impact than a normal dream. So once you connect your dream with something emotional, then nothing can stop you, my dear friends. RIS will get activated. I'm not again telling you to leave your job because this is not an alternative for the job. But I am doing full time because I believe an effective, uh, an, an unaffective part timer is better than an effective full timer, I believe, because he is fully focused into this. An ineffective part timer is more competent in business than an effective full-timer, I believe. So um, the point is, uh, once the RIS is there, you know, uh, uh, it is like a shark in the ocean. A, a shark in the ocean, you know, if it smells blood from one kilometer distance in water, one kilometer distance in water, it will take a U-turn in, in, in a lightning speed. That is the quality of shark. 
shark is a non-veg eating fish uh, in the ocean. It is sometimes even attacks even blue whales, that powerful it is. Even one drop of water somewhere in the ocean, even in one kilometer distance, it used to take a quick U-turn. And in a, in a supersonic speed, it will come where that drop of, uh, you know, blood was there to find its food. So that kind of acumen we will have once RAS is activated. Once the RAS is activated. So this is my only way I can change my quadrant if we have that strong belief. Because job cannot take us there. Only this can take us there. If we have that strong belief or we have to program our brain in such a way, this is my only way. Then you can see a different you in you. Like a shark, you will you will find opportunities even one kilometer distance, a minute opportunity. You will be able to, your antenna will be up and it, it will come in your radar. Even in one kilometer distance, you will be able to go and capture it. So that is a fantastic thing. See, once the RAS is act, in order to activate your RAS, again, we have to upgrade our standards, my dear friends. Upgrade our standards, upgrade our standards in the sense our knowledge, our knowledge means how by attending programs, your skills by giving actions to this knowledge. Knowledge without action is moronic. I repeat, knowledge without action is moronic. What is the use of knowledge without action? So knowledge will be appearing, attending programs will give you knowledge. Applying that knowledge means in the field, action will give you skills. Action will give you skills. And, and skills will give you muscles. Muscles means nothing but you are effective. You are effective means any time, any situation you will be able to perform. If you are effective, you are successful. So here again, your gadgets are also important for your standards. The gadgets you use. Branded clothes, Apple phone, all those things. You are a good, decent, brand new car, all those things. So upgrade your standards, my dear friends. So let me let me conclude whatever I said. I am just telling you, business incubator program is the way forward. Business incubator program is the way forward. Do it in the right way. Do it in the right way. You, every distributor in your organization will turn into an asset. Every distributor will turn into an asset. And your individual momentum should lead the show. Don't wait for your team's momentum. Wait. Your individual momentum will lead the show. So how many of you are pakka sure that you are going to recruit at least two people in this week and qualify business incubator program by next week? So can we have a hashtag today by everyone? Business Incubator Program, Moonlighting, Viva, Business Incubator Program, Business underscore Incubator underscore Program. So, Pakashwa, right. Thank you so much.